Morning, Gary. I see you posted a response to my video uh, uh, on, on ZGM TV symptom things. I'm not going to watch it. I can see what just by the comments and uh, <laughs> what kind of video it is. You know, I don't want to watch 36 minutes of you ranting about words like normal, Gary. You'd see, I don't need to do that. Um, I'll watch it later if I can be bothered. But I'm just going to say, but it's normal. I mean, you're just looking at the comments, so I can see what kind of people you're attracting with this bullshit. Um, no, normal is a very specific word. Hang on a second, I maybe have lost my fucking camera. Yeah, it was time video. Oh, there you are, look. Let me just stop you, otherwise it'll be confusing. Yeah, I mean, normal is a really specific word, and it doesn't fucking belong in evolution. That's the major problem you've got here, Gary. You know, you're you're using the word normal as if this is a word that belongs in evolutionary biology. It just bloody isn't, you know. It's a word that belongs in sociology, maybe, or it's a word that belongs in some versions of pathology, some versions of, uh, of, med of medicine, which is why ZGM TV in the first place was using, was talking about pathologies, you know what I mean? I mean, where's the normal in evolution? I mean, you're, you're basically looking to evolution again to say that, um, you know, it's, it's all about this, you know, and you can't do this, you know, do you know, you know when stupid right-wingers do this? Look, Christians in, the, in, the, in your country, look, homosexuality is bad. This is the, the, the universal symbol for how stupid homosexuality is amongst uh, stupid people. Um, no, you, th there isn't a fucking good evolutionary account for um, that, that, exp that, that uses words like normal. It, it just, there isn't. I mean, there just fucking isn't. You know, there's always been gay people in the, on the world, as far as we know. They ain't going away. So clearly, you know, it's, uh, it has a place in evolution, whatever that is. You know, it's just bullshit to say otherwise. And even if, you know, and, and, and Evolution doesn't contain the word normal. You know, evolution doesn't do normal. It does theme and variation. It does tiny little freaks. That's how that's how evolution works. You know, you know what mutation is. Tiny little freaks. Everybody is a tiny little freak. A little variation on every other tiny little freak that's ever been around. Yeah, uh, and the um, and, and where the results of that. All of us, not no exceptions. Yeah, you know, we're all the fucking results of that. You know, we're all we've all got these fucking little family resemblances to one another. And that's that's how it is, you know. The, yeah, there's, there's just no fucking meaning for normal in evolutionary biology. The only places, as I say, the only places you can use normal and abnormal is in sociology, something like sociology, or you know, the vernacular versions of sociology. Um, I don't know why you would want to do that in your in the, talking about the videos that you talk about, you know, because as you say uh, in various places, you know, you're abnormal. And I'm abnormal, and yeah, who can say those kind of things? Um, but so what, you know? So what? I mean, a lot of your videos are, are exactly about, you know, resisting fucking pejorative implications of people saying how abnormal each other is, you know? You know, you get ten people in a room, one of them slightly different to the other nine, those are the nine will say, well, that's abnormal. Yeah, it's fucking retarded, isn't it, really? I mean, come on. And, and the only other place that people talk about normal is in medicine. And there it has a sense. You know, people do talk about normal brain functioning, let's say, and abnormal brain functioning. Because you know what this particular organ is supposed to do, and it's doing something different. It's doing it inadequately. And there, and there it makes perfect sense. But there, that is pathology. I mean, that's the point. You know, there is an identifiable function that this organ should be carrying out, and it's not carrying it out, therefore it's not behaving normally. That makes sense. So it makes sense in medicine, but not to do with homosexuality because homosexuality is not a disease or a, or a, a misfunctioning of an organ, whatever you might think, and certainly how a lot of your commentators think. Um, so it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense there. And yeah, you can do it sociologically because, ooh, that's their gem He's not normal. He's got long hair and appears to wear earrings. Now, for fuck's sake, I mean, do we really want to do that? You know, I mean, that's for the twats who... who who cheer you on in your fucking comments section when you make videos like this, Gary, you know. Bullshit. No, there's, I'm not going to waffle on past five minutes on this. I'm, it's just this normal thing. You can't use normal in biology, all right? You just can't use normal in evolutionary biology. But evolutionary biology is about variation. You know that. It's about variation. It's about theme and variation. Nothing to do. Nothing to do with normal and abnormal. I mean, to be honest, I tried to rescue the fucking word normal for you, Gary, because you made such a hash of it in that first video. I tried to rescue it by at least finding a way to make it useful and to, to talk about normal distributions. If you don't like that, oh, fuck you. 
Okay, well, this last little add-on, I thought I'd finish, but clearly I haven't. Yeah, there's a huge fucking difference, Gary, but you know this, between individual abnormalities that you can celebrate. I just, I've just looked at your tags, proudly abnormal. There's a huge fucking difference between recognising difference, playing around saying we're abnormal because we've got red hair, or playing around with red, we're abnormal because we've, we've got other some kind of feature we can balance on a log, you know, and taking some kind of pride in that and saying, yeah, we're all the same, we're all abnormal. There's a huge difference between that and saying, look, this, whatever it is, 5 10% of the population who happen to have different kinds of love interests than we do, they're abnormal. I mean, if you can't see the fucking difference, really. I mean, that's, that's, that's how you, you know, isolate a section of the population, brand them with some kind of pathology or abnormality, and then, and then discriminate against them. And that's, that's the fucking history of, uh, of, of gay rights, isn't it? Yes, isn't the rights? Isn't that it? Yeah, and, and also... Um, uh, Racial discrimination, isn't that how that works? It's not normal to have black skin. How dare you have black skin? It's not normal. Yeah, it's just bullshit. I mean, it's, yeah, it's that same thing again, you know, applying individual uh, individual attributes of normality and abnormality to entire sections of a population. Um, okay, there's another attempt to, apply, to reply to your video there, Gary. Uh, but I'll see if I can keep this really concise. You know, you, you, I'm sure you've heard this in from various protests by Westboro Baptist Church and other extreme fucking fundamentalist retards, that they say, God made Adam and Eve, he didn't make Adam and Steve. You'll have heard of that. God made Adam and Eve, didn't make Adam and Steve. I mean, those of us who reject theology and accept uh, evolution, we can't say that. Because evolution is a descriptive science. We look around and we say, what has DNA and the processes of evolutionary biology put on this earth? And clearly one of the things it's done is it's made lots and lots of Adam and Steve's and the female equivalents of Adam and Steve's. You know, that's what it's done. So there's absolutely no fucking point in saying, you know, DNA didn't make Adam and Steve, which is essentially what you're doing there, you know. So the whole normal thing is bullshit. Bullshit. It's just bullshit. The only way you can use normal is, is in terms of a sociological account, which I know you wouldn't want to do, because that's uh, shit. And the only way that sociology has been confused for science in the past has been for discriminatory reasons. You recognise a sociological difference. This guy's got long hair. This guy seems to have different sexual preferences. This guy's skin is a slightly different colour. Um, let's use that sociological difference for discriminatory purposes. That's the only That's the only uh, use of the of that kind of recognition of difference, the assignation of the term abnormal to it, and then the uh, possibly the pathologization of that patho... Yeah, you know the word. The, the pathology of that, and then the discrimination that follows that pathology. It doesn't go anywhere nice. That stuff, it really doesn't. An individual pathology, individual abnormality is completely different to the assignation of abnormality to a whole fucking group. It just is. I just want to add one last thing to this... Uh, I am not a symptom. Well, maybe it's not last. I don't know. It's an interesting topic. But it's really in defence of uh, comment and commenter on my original video, which is, I think, Beard Freak 1969, I think. Beard Freak. Anyway, yeah. Uh, he, he said something like, uh, I feel a little bit queasy when I see two men kissing. That, that was that kind of sentiment. Uh, and I made a flip remark saying, you know, perhaps it was, uh, perhaps you were abused in childhood and that's what made you feel this way about it. Uh, and I did try and smiley face it, but I think I came across as if I was accusing him of homophobia. And someone else uh, posting later uh, seems to be uh, overtly uh, uh, kind of accused him of homophobia. And uh, and Gary, you are being accused of homophobia as well. But um, I don't think that's the same thing. Or if it is the same thing, it's uh, it's it's a differently accented same thing. You know. It, it, it's, I want to just stick up for people feeling queasy if they want to. Um, lots of things make... I'm English, you know what I mean? And English people are all sexually repressed. So any kind of public display of sexual affection, it makes me feel a bit queasy. You know, two people kissing on the backseat of a bus makes me feel... That's a bit inappropriate, you know, because I'm English. Um, and I know many people find uh, similar kinds of things. It's a, yeah, it's a bit queasy. Watching two old people kiss is a bit weird, isn't it? You know, sorry, it just is. Um, but that's not their fucking problem. It's not their problem. They're allowed to do what they want, pretty much, as long as it doesn't frighten the horses. 
uh, and I'm allowed to feel queasy, and my feeling queasy isn't a sign of, of condemnation, particularly if I recognise it as such. You know, if I say, oh, I feel a bit queasy about this, there must be a good scientific and evolutionary or perhaps theological reason for my feeling queasy. My feeling queasy is a normal response to a situation. Anybody who doesn't feel queasy in this situation is, um, is clearly a, a, some kind of enabler, and, uh, and my feeling que queasy is an accurate uh, readout of, of, a, of, a, of a, an abnormal situation and we should condemn the situation. That would be crap. That would be crap. And I think that's what you do, Gary, a little bit here. Uh, project your feelings onto the world as if it's a statement of fact. No, no. Um, feeling queasy is fine. Be a freak. Feel, feel que queasy. I'm, I'm sure you're a nice person, you know, judging by your other comments, uh, and uh, are as liberal as, 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 as is appropriate to be. Um, so, yeah, homophobia and feeling queasy aren't the same thing. Homophobia is when you feel queasy, assume that queasiness represents a, a statement of fact about the world, and then discriminate based on your personal feelings. That's crap, isn't it? Okay, yes, another bit. Yeah, just a bit about freak being freaked out. I only, only mention this because in one or two places in various comments, and I think in one or two videos, people have mentioned paedophilia. I think Great X, you mentioned paedophilia. And some twit said that, oh yeah, your homosexuality and paedophilia, these are just different strokes for different folks. Bullshit. Uh, I mean, the, the point is, you know, that we're intelligent creatures. We're feeling creatures, but we're also intelligent creatures. And yes, some people in this world do get freaked out and feel very queasy around both paedophilia and homosexuality. Some people get freaked out by one. Some people get freaked out by the other. Some people get freaked out by both. But it's not an indicator of the value or the lack of value or the status of any any. Or anything really about those two acts, because you know we're 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 not driven by our queasiness anymore. I mean, in our ancestors were our early hominid ancestors were, and and, and still are. You know, if you, if you catch a monkey, paint it blue, and throw it back in the jungle, the other monkeys will throw it apart because they're driven by the queasiness of recognizing difference, and they can't see beyond the blue paint. You know what I mean? But we can see beyond the blue paint, and we can say, yes, I feel equally queasy about these two activities. I feel queasy about this paedophilia thing and I feel queasy about this homosexuality thing but my queasiness is just an old atavistic uh, tendency an old, an old throwback to an old way of being when it was important to feel dif to feel frightened and queasy by difference and I don't have to, to rely on that I can use my intelligence the thing that you lord Gary the thing that uh, that um, tries to distinguish it even if it fails quite a bit we can say yeah well actually these things are different so they are, they are making me feel queasy. Uh, what's, the, what's the real status of this? Is anybody, is anybody being hurt with this activity? Is anybody being hurt with this activity? Oh yeah, actually some children are being hurt by this activity. We probably better condemn that one. Is anybody being hurt by this activity? Uh, no, they seem to be enjoying themselves actually and hurting no one. So let's not condemn that then. Let's not uh, pathologize that one. Let's, if we have to pathologize anything, Let's either pathologize or criminalize that one and leave that one alone. Yeah? <sighs> okay, this is positively the last add on to this video to you, Gary. Um, I still haven't watched the whole 36 minutes. I've only watched the first two minutes and I've looked at the comments. I'm just, I'm just not in the mood for being shouted at. You know, it's been a shit few days. It's not going to get any better for the next few days. And I don't want to, to, to listen to one of your shouts, quite frankly. Uh, but I'm, so I'm responding to the, the meaning of yours as it's being interpreted in the comments. Uh, you might think that's unfair. I don't care, really. Um, clearly, some people who are listening to your video are responding to it positively and are re re you know, recording that positive uh, understanding of it in your comments section. And they're just cunts. I'm sorry. They, just look at the comments you're getting there, mate. Whatever you're intending to say here, and I say I'm not going to look at it for a few hours, whatever you're intending to say, whatever nuances, whatever subtleties, whatever carefully balanced arguments you're trying to present here and how you're not a bigot, it's being picked up by bigots as support for bigoted, hateful fucking positions. And, uh, you know, you have an accountability there. You really do. You know, I mean, this is the kind of thing that you hold people like the Amazing Atheist to account for. It's, you know, people who make videos that promote that are picked up by haters and, and used to fuel hate-filled arguments is something that we should be accountable for. Look at the fucking comments you're getting there. That's, what, that's what's coming across in your video. Yeah? 
So uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at your video right now, and it's just fucking it's just too depressing.